this is where the action started. I had this, this nice friend of mine. She was sitting here. And I was standing right here. And I was telling her about some confrontation I had. I'm not afraid. Uh, she knows. I haven't seen her for a couple of years. But, you know, you tell stories. Some people tell stories when it comes to crunch time. They go, oh. So I had my crunch time. Monsieur Bichia came walking right here. And I was right there and I sort of went, huh? I thought he was going to walk. But, you know, like we're in the wrong street. No, come and see me, right? You were about this part, this far apart. So I put a complaint in that he told me that he wants, his goal in life is to make sure that I, and I thought that was him coming here. No, same thing, white shirt, it's shorts. Okay, never mind that. See, I'm being distracted now. Um, he said that um, his goal is to make sure that I end up in jail. Like I told the police, if I end up in jail, the Fredericton Police Force ordered my prescription to be cut off last summer. Had no prescription for two days, I almost died. So I go to jail, I die, it's too feed me. But the scary part is, they question me. Well, you get a witness. You sure you got a witness? Now, I know some people, like this Andre Murray guy, which I don't know the whole detail because it's too com complicated for my ADHD. But, Neighbors put a complaint against him, I guess, and the police jump immediately. They didn't ask no question, just jump. Uh, Dan Bichier see me on the sidewalk riding a bicycle. He calls, I seen that big, big, big blogger riding a bicycle on the sidewalk. Give me a ticket. Yes, Monsieur Bichier. They jump. They give me a ticket, $140. Here I am, a beautiful day, a nice, beautiful girl, chatting away. Dan, the mean fascist tyrant Dan Bichier comes in and tells me that I'm going to be, his goal is to put me in jail. And they're saying, well, we got no proof. Now, these guys, how are they going to do that? Oh, Monsieur Bichier, sir, I, can I talk to you about uh, you, you threaten the blogger? Now, what's going to happen? Uh, the blogger will be. Bonjour, comment ça va? You want to handcuff me now? Hey, hey, veux tu veux tu me handcuffer sir? But that's a man, a sheriff, good people. So anyway, just I thought they were coming here with, with Dan Bichia. So uh, Dan Bichia is what's going to happen is I got cut off. Oh, they say if they question him that I, that he threatened me, Dan Bichia might cut them off. He might say, no more overtime for you, no more overtime for you. Anyone that dares to question Monsieur Bichia mentality, just look at the video I have on the blog. When he arrested me at the ledge, he flipped his leg. But anyway, will the cop investigate me as a blogger, peaceful citizen of the city, minding my own business, Dan Bichia, will the Fredericton Police Force be afraid of his, their master, Dan Bichia? Stay tuned.